I want to talk about a graphical way that we can represent longevity. And the way that we can do it most easily is to consider the two age-dependent drivers of health span, cognition and physical performance, on the vertical axis here, while considering lifespan on the horizontal axis here. So let's start by turning our attention to the white line. The white line represents what happens without much of an intervention as a person ages. So a person is born here at time zero, and if you follow the trajectory of their graph, what's happening is as it's moving to the right, you're gaining chronologic years, and as it's coming down, the quality of your life is declining, such that when the line crosses the horizontal axis, a person is literally dead. The blue line represents what I believe the best medicine has to offer, which is to say, initially, it really follows the same curve as the white line. But just as you're about to near the end of life, it comes in and manages to delay death by some period of time. Using amazing and heroic tools of medicine, it manages to postpone death by potentially a few years or more but often without any improvement in the quality of life. Finally, I'd like you to imagine the red line. The red line you can see increases the length of life, though not logarithmically. It certainly isn't a science fiction extension of life. What most stands out in the red line is the way in which it reduces the decline of health span and compresses the period of decline. One way that I like to think about this is to ask the question, how much of a person's life is spent below about the 50th percentile of quality of life? So if you think about this being 100% of the quality of life, and this being about 50%, very important metric to me is how big this gap is. That's the period of time that a person spends beneath about that 50% window in which their quality of life is really reduced. the red one is where we want to be. Not just because you're living longer, but because you're spending a far narrower fraction of your life in the final stages of decline. This is what it means to square the longevity curve. In an ideal world, that red curve would be a straight line here that would drop vertically and instantaneously at the end of a person's life. Your curve is not set in stone. This is a malleable process. Now, it's not gonna be malleable based on one pill, one magic workout, one fruit smoothie shake, or any such elixir. It's going to come down to a lot of hard work, a lot of understanding, a lot of sacrifice, and a lot of strategy. And while such a longevity curve represents a theoretical aspiration that can probably never be attained, it serves as a model for what we can aspire to.